Hello guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to downgrade your iPhone 3G to iOS 3.0.1. Now this process has worked on mine, so it should work on yours, I hope. <laughs> so, first thing you'll want to do is get on a computer. Mac or PC doesn't matter, I'll be using my Mac in this demonstration. You'll need to go to Safari, or whatever your preferred web browser is. Then search IPSW.me. then scroll down to iPhone 3G and then you need to go down to 3.0.1 and download it. Now it says it's not signed but I actually was had a successful downgrade on mine so weird but whatever. Then you'll just want to download and that should only take a minute or so. So I'll just let it run through here, only take a second. Okay, sorry about the long wait there. So once that is done, you can close out of your browser. You don't need it anymore. And one more thing before I do get into this, you know, actually start downgrading, is that you will need a SIM card to activate this after you are done. Because uh, before like iOS 6, no, like before like iOS, well, iOS 3 requires a SIM card to activate. So you will need one. So yeah so the next thing you'll just want to do is just go to if you're on Catalina or newer go to finder uh, Mojave or older just use iTunes and then we you will want to connect your 3G to your computer using a 30 pin cable and it should show up any second now Just give this a second. I don't need it to sync since I'll be restoring it anyway. <laughs> there we go. So as you can see we're already on 3.0.1 but I'll just be restoring just to show you guys how to do it. So if you're on Windows I believe you'll want to hold down shift as you click restore. If you're on Mac click option. I'll be clicking option. Today, it's just taking a second. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty, and then you'll want to click on the IPSW file that you just downloaded and click open. And then it should just start saying this, or you know that it's going to restore the iPhone. So I'll let it do that, and I'll get back with you when it's done. Okay, so once it gets to this connect to iTunes screen, this is where you'll need a SIM card. Now, if your 3G isn't unlocked, you will need an AT&T SIM card. The last AT&T uh, SIM cards I tried didn't work, so I'm trying a smaller one. But I think if you do have the normal size, like this one right here, it should work. I don't know why mine weren't working. But uh, I think it just it's something with this phone, because it won't register these uh, SIM cards, but my other phones will. So, weird, but whatever. So you'll need to pop the SIM tray out of this guy. And put your your SIM card just right in here. And then just pop that back in. And then, if it, just, if it does register it, which I'll give it a moment here, because it will take a second. It normally just does show little bars. 
So let me reboot and see if it still does that. So I'll just give it a moment here. Okay, now that it has rebooted, it's actually detecting the SIM card now. So next thing you'll want to do is go over to like whatever computer you're using and go to Finder, iTunes, you know, whatever's on there depending on what, you know, operating system or version you're running and click on the phone, the little phone icon and it should activate it. <laughs> so we'll just give it a minute here. And it's activated. That worked. I've been trying like a bunch of SIM cards and this one decided to work. So one thing I would like to say, if if your SIM card doesn't work, like like the first time you put it in, just try rebooting because that's what worked for me. And as you can see, we're you know we're in and everything is working now. So yeah, that is how to restore your iPhone 3G. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video.